Well, after 25 games, we are down to game 26, the grand final of the Men's Police Bank Cup for 2023. It'll be the Bankstown Giants taking on the Eastern Suburb Wombats. The referee will be Scott Camborn. His touch yards will be Sean Hampstead and Scott Murray to be the Giants to get things underway. So let's have a look at their side. They've had a bit of unluckiness overnight. Three players being ruled out. But the ones, Luke Gosling, the two, Adam Barham, three, Dane Clark, the four, Matheson Johns, five, Jake Rivette, six, Joel Raper, the seven, Andrew Dargan, the eight, Michael Eames, the nine, Matt Falls, the ten, Anthony Sangaridis, the twelve, Hayden Peacock, fourteen, Amar Fermi, 17, Chris Pro, 18, Kyle Wakeham, 19, Chris Farr, 20, Adam Packer, 24, Nathan Gen Jenkins, and the 16, Alex Dennis, and a late inclusion after Brad McIntyre was injured in the warm-up. Is in jersey 22, Kieran Duggan, also Couchy and Schroeder ruled out, so three big outs for the Giants. But that won't hold them back. They'll still have a red-hot crack against this eastern suburb sides. Their one's Max Batty. The two of the five, Zach Essa. The two, of course, Dylan Wagner. Three, Tom Murray. Four, Charlie Buttrose. The six, Rich Chapel. Seven, David Farkas. The eight, Jake Clisby. Nine, Matt Johnstone. Ten, Alex Maher. The 11, Jackson Clark. Twelve, James Wilmington. Thirteen, Hayden Ashcroft. Fourteen, Colin Famillo. 17, Carlin Dean. 16, Michael Creamer. 18, Jacob Watkin. 20, Mick Palmer. 15, Anthony Vaux. And at the moment, there's a, a Wombat player down injured. Off the opening set. Might be their skipper. Jake Clisby. I'm just trying to see some numbers. I can't see Clisby. So it looks like a leg injury for Clisby, but it Yeah, it is it is Jake Clisby. And he'll make his way off the field, so not a great start for the the Wombats. As the Bankstown Giants look to win their first ever Police Bank Cup. Their last grand final appearance was two thousand and one. Where were they they were beaten? by the MacArthur Bulls. So it's a long, long time since they've appeared in a grand final, let alone, well, they've never won one. Onto the field is Carlin Dean in jersey 17. Not a great start for the... The Wombats losing their skipper. <laughs> Referee Camborn. He'll blow time on now as Clisby has made his way off the field. Back early. Ashcroft, Ashcroft. Been a solid contributor all week and throughout this tournament. John Stone, batty, batty. Finds Ma. Farkas gets a kick in. Straight down the throat of Rivette. Jake Rivette brings it back. Takes it easily. Gosling. Been playing on the wing all week. The injury to Couchy. He's going back to fullback and another one bat, one bat player down. Up pretty quickly, shakes the head. Just wanted to get the trainers off their seat and running. Sangaridis. Sangaridis, they pick him up and drive him backwards. Ball appealing for an a penalty, but not to be. Pro. Prow did well. 
Got to halfway. Johns. Johns beats one. Nearly had the hand free. Dangerous runner of the football. It's going to be important. There's a penalty. Going to be an important player in this grand final is Matheson Johns. He's been heavily marked all week. But a dynamic runner of the football. Now, Joel Raper. Adds a few extra metres. Peacock. Deems gets it short. He charges onto it. That's, he's been workmanlike all week for the Giants. Fall now. Looks to the right. Which way will he go? Darzan waiting to the right. Eventually Darzan gets it. Gosling, Gosling. Good tackle. They came in. Wagner involved in the tackle. Just trying to see who it was. They go that short side again. Clark. On four. Packer. Packer. Went to throw the pass. Just goes himself. They'll look for a repeat set here. Where's Raper? Raper's, Raper and Dargan on the... Raper puts a kick through. There's runners coming across. Oh, it's beaten all of them. And it'll go dead in goal. Dargan and Raper combining on the short side together. The kick was just too deep as the Wombats now through Batty. They roll it over. 35 away. Or 35 out from their defensive try line. Yes, sir. Comes in for a little scoot. John Stone to dummy half. He looks up. Ashcroft. Ashcroft gets it on to Ma. Ma nearly. Well, the referee's going to say, yep. Yeah. A little bit of muck in the ruck. And a penalty. Dave Farkas will look for some interest with his penalty kick. Take the Wombats into enemy territory for the first time. Murray with the restart. It's in the hands of Ma. John Stone. He picks up Dean. Dean gets through one. He slides to his feet. Ashcroft. Ashcroft looking for Ma. They're trying to slow the play the ball down the Giants. We know how quick it's been through the week. Ashcroft to Farkas. Farkas back underneath for Murray. Murray. And he gets wrapped up. They look for a quick relay. They go to the left. Clark. Last tackle. Some scrambling defence here from the Giants. They need to scramble. Wagner gets the pass. Farkas. And Wagner leaps high in the air. Grabs the ball. Brings it around. Dylan Wagner grabs first points in this Police Bank Cup Grand Final. And on the Brighton's Lawyer scoreboard, four points to nil to the Wombats. Dave Fargus jumped into dummy half. Threw the pass. Wagner had to leap high. He's had a sensational tournament. And Tom Murray will look to add the extras. Plenty of police rugby league ahead with the upcoming city versus country games. So keep an eye on the police rugby league Facebook page for all the amount, announcements of those representing these sides. Been plenty of talent on show all week. Moves in. Doesn't look that happy. It's waved away.
Giants with a restart. John Stone looking around. Which way will he go? He's looking for that workmanlike pack. John Stone looks up. Big shout out to everybody listening. Sean Light, I believe, is having a listen. And the boys, no doubt, having a bit of smoke, eh? On this Thursday afternoon, watching the Police Bank Cup Grand Final. So good kick, nice take, nicely taken there by Gosling. Gosling brought it back. Four look out of dummy half, just trying to control things in the middle now. They need to get on the front foot. Johns says, "Give me the footy and see what I can do." Johnston clings to him. Four charging into it. Rivet, Rivet. This time they pick it. He does well. He squirts it out. Sangaridis, Sangaridis, a little step here, step there. Oh, he popped it back for four. But Fall couldn't hang on to the footy. Some enterprising play from the Giants. And like a tennis match, they've got to go forehand to forehand to this Wombat side. Fight fire with fire. Great to know that Hayden Ashcroft's father's watching with Sean Light, actually. So, g'day, boys, in the middle of a paddock somewhere. Hope you're both enjoying the coverage as Wagner. I can guarantee you, Mr Ashcroft, your son's had a good week. John Stone now. Once again, just scheming. Finds that... Young man, we've been talking about Hayden Ashcroft who gets over halfway for the Wombats. Johnston, they get hold of him. Matty Fall does well. Got hold of him from the marker roll. Ashcroft again looking for a runner. He had Creamer outside, couldn't release. Johnstone, Batty on that left foot. Doesn't get as much on it as he would have wanted. Wagner's contested. Dangerous. Dangerous! Dylan Wagner. He's going to beat you in a one-on-one -on -one leap. And then he's hard to stop. And he grabs an early double. Does Dylan Wagner for the Wombats. There was nothing going on. As I said, Batty, the kick. Probably didn't get as much distance as he wanted to. But Wagner says, I'll contest, and contest he did. And on the Brighton's Lawyer scoreboard, it's the Wombats from the eastern suburbs leading 8-0. Murray, this time, no, it's waved away to the left. Another one bats eight. The Giants nil. Brian's lawyer scoreboard. So Johns, once again with a restart for the Giants. Gets plenty on it. 
Marcus waits. Finds Creamer. Creamer drives it back. Giants await. Johnston finds Dean making some metres. This Wombat side early in this set. Set after points. He dummies for Creamer. Ashcroft. Three Giants players swarm on him. Johnstone for Batty. Batty on that left foot again. This time he gives it plenty of depth. Swinning, spinning. Absolute nightmare for a fullback. That kick from Batty on the left. You can see the torpedo. And when it landed, it couldn't be taken by the Giants' Luke Gosling. What a magnificent week here at Scully Park. But now Chapel, Chapel will feed this ground. Batty awaits it. Johnstone picks it up. Ball finds the ground. Marcus came underneath. Murray had to go back and clean up the crumbs. And he does. He goes to dummy half. Johnstone picks up Clark. Johnstone. Back underneath from Dean. Dean gets away from a solid shot. Sangaridis takes a while to get up. They go the short side. Clark again. Ball hits the deck. Wagner does a good job. And they're going to say knock on from Wagner. As he went to pick up the loose pass. Must have just come forward off that right hand. So the Giants survive. They now just need to get up the other end of the football field and score before half time. They only trail 8 0. Two tries, but both unconverted by the Wombats. The Giants trying to win their first ever Police Bank Cup Premiership. Clark takes a high pass. Johns. Johns. At speed, had runners outside, decides to take the tackle, and they read it well, the Wombats. Wilmington and Essa are in, involved in the, the tackle. Peacock. Hasn't had a lot, of, a lot of opportunity with ball in hand as yet. VAR. Number and eventually you can hear the crowd. Get them off, get them off. There's a wombat laying all over a giant. You need a lot of wombats to lay over a giant. <laughs> Has that gone out? No, nah, yes. Flag eventually goes in the air. And touch Judge Hampstead. And Wagner was off and gone. Can't beat a cheeky winger. So is this the opportunity the Giants were wanting? Duggan finds VAR. Four minutes till the halftime break. Points now for the Giants. Be so important in the context of this match. Packer. Dan Garidis drives forward. He's missing a couple of key teammates. McIntyre injured in the warm-up. Scroder couldn't get after yesterday's game and Couchy as well, but the 19 out there, they're doing a good job. Clark. Clark. He pops it up for Rivet. Rivet. He's been a good finisher. Every game we've seen this week. Long pass. Finds Packer. Packer. Just goes straight and hard. What are they looking for now? They're looking for Raper. Raper. Raper throws the dummy to Raper. Does well once again. Dangerous near the line as Joel Rapery threw the in the dummy inside, backed himself, and the Giants have scored 
Eight points to four. Brighton's lawyer scoreboard. First time they've been down there for a long, long time. That will grab some confidence out of that. Good lead up by the forwards from the Giants. Tangaridis again involved. Had some strong charges. There's Anthony Sangaridis. Joel Raper. Six for the Giants. Finishes it nicely. Now he's hoping to convert his own try. And take it to an 8-6 scoreline. And set up a cracking second half. They came into last year's grand final, the Wombats. Favourites. And we're beaten by the Bulls. Will it be deja vu again as Raper moves in? Flags are in the air on the Brighton's lawyer scoreboard. Eight points to six. Two minutes shy of half time. Momentum is a beautiful thing going into the break. And the Giants will have plenty of self-belief. Murray with the restart, goes high in the air. One moment there, I thought they were going to let it, leave it alone. Take a note. Barham. Deems. Eventually gets to his feet, fall, nearly passed it to Sangaridis. Would have been trouble. He was just in front of him. This time, Sangaridis gets it, gets over halfway on the last. 40 seconds till the break. Roper won't muck around here. He'll try and kick. Mourners will try and kick it to the corners, but all he's done is found Batty. Now, Batty looks up. Floating across, gets away from Johns. Good tackle, Barham underneath. Did well. Was dangerous then if Batty got past Barham. He had nobody in front of him on this grandstand edge. Doesn't look like we'll see the, the Wombat skipper, Jake Clisby. Now, here's an early kick from Marcus on the last... Well, it wasn't on the last, on the four, but the last minute, last seconds. There's the halftime siren. That's what he was trying to do. Rivette takes it easily. And we'll go into the halftime break on the Brighton's Lawyers with the Eastern Suburbs Wombats eight leading the Bankstown Giants six and has set it up beautifully for an interesting 20 minutes to complete the Police Bank Cup for 2023. We'll be back with all that second half action shortly.
back for the restart, and we are ready to go. Wombats kicking off. Eight points to six to half time score, and what's turned out to be a well, there's a mistake from the Giants straight away. Michael Leams, as he's getting to his feet, knocks the ball on, so it gives the Wombats an early chance in this second half. They lead by two points on the Brighton Lawyers scoreboard. Dylan Wagner with two tries. John Stone finds Batty. Batty throws a big dummy. At Buttrose. Buttrose hasn't seen a lot of footy in this game so far. He goes to dummy half now, and he will have a scoot out of there. Giants come and take care of him. John Stone comes back to this grandstand side for Arcus. Clark. Clark hits Murray. Murray looks up. Arcus out of dummy half. They find Clark. Jackson Clark out of dummy half. John Stone, can he spin around? Referee's going to go back and say he has. He gets up, clenches his fist. And Matt John Stone just too quick after a mistake from the Giants off the kickoff. They go bang, 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 the Wombats. And they lead 12 points to six. Early in this second half. And Tom Murray, he looked to add the extras and just push out of that eight-point lead again. After rolling into the halftime break with the momentum, the Giants, that mistake off the kickoff could be crucial. Murray moves in, waved away. Not having, not having a great day with the boots so far. Zero from three. And just leaves the door open for the Giants. Matheson Johns with the restart. Referee Campbell and just tell him to get behind him. Marcus takes it. Winding up. Off the back fence, Alex Maher. Batty to dummy half. Ashcroft. Takes a while to get to his feet. He's to the dummy half. Dean Ashcroft again driven to the ground Johnston don't they won't muck around Batty says I've had enough of this kicks to some space taken nicely Gosling going back looks up and just brings it back into the the Wombats Defensive line, four of them chase the kick. Barham. Some willing defence again. As Barham will get up, just shy of halfway. Wakeham. Gosling. Gosling got nailed. Did hit it at speed, though, and did well to hang on to it. Again, there'll be a penalty here. He was hit with the shoulder. You can see it. Yep. Dargan. Oh, 
Referee indicates use of the shoulder. Raper with a penalty kick makes 15. Va. It's the pass off Clark. Wakeham tucks the ball under the arm and just takes the tackle. Eight out. Four. Zangaridis. Footwork of the line. He's wrapped up a metre out now. Four. They come back to the right. Dargan. He's got Johns. Hits Johns. Oh, the pass went backwards and then Johns has dropped it. Has a bit of a push and shove. A few words said. At the end of the day, it's a knock on from the Giants. And the Wombats will get the football. Restart on the 20. Yes, sir. Both sides have calmed down there and just get on with it. And John Stone waiting for the waiting for the pass. Didn't get it. It was a drop ball in the play, the ball from Charlie Buttrose. So now the Giants, 30 out, still 13 minutes left in this second half, Johns, four, looking for some runners, finds one, enthusiastic, charging onto a peacock. Var. Still going far. They get him on his back now and slow the play right down. Four. Wakeham. Little one out stuff here for the Giants at the moment. Johns has switched sides. Johns, he's got Clark with him. He puts the kick through. Probably wasn't the best option there from Johns. And the Wombat survived after it was cleaned up by Murray. Batty plays it now. Yes, sir. Had a dummy half. Straightens up. Sangaridis has to come. Driving to the ground after he beat one tackle. Johnston again. Creamer. The Wombat gets to the to his feet in Kramer. Ashcroft takes the ball to the line and says, I'll have a little kick of this. He does indeed. Back there to clean it up. Gosling. Raper. Had a dummy half. Are they going to pick him up and drag him over? No, they don't. Barham. Good run from Burham out of dummy half. He beat, beat the first tackle. They came, though, for the second ball. Hits the deck. Var has to go back, clean it up. Good leg drive. Johnson chops him. And eventually to the ground. He gets to his feet now, though, for Dargan. Hasn't had a lot of opportunity at the moment. Packer. Raper. Kicks for the corner. Wagner going back. It'll find touch. Wombat's more than happy for it to find touch. They only lead by six points. 12 points to six. On the bronze lawyer scoreboard. As we roll into the final 10 minutes of this Police Bank Cup. 
Championship for 2023. Wagner out of dummy half. Grab two tries in the first half for the Wombats. Ashcroft. Still going, Ashcroft. Referee says, yeah, now he calls held. Dean. Done a good job, Dean, after Clisby was hurt in the first tackle of the match. And now Dean takes a while to get to his feet. Ashcroft. Ashcroft, the ball playing back rower. This one bat side. John Stone. Looks up, finds Chapel. Chapel puts boot to ball. There to clean it up. Gosling. Chapel chasing up his kick. Makes the tackle. The Giants will play it. 20 out from their defensive try line. Burham. Takes a while to get to his feet. Was driven hard. Sangaridis again. Wakem on tackle four, Dargan Packer looked to pass to Clark and then decided just to take the tackle. So we're on the last tackle now. Which way will they go? Find Gosling. Gosling, have they heard the call of the last? Packer puts a chip through for himself. Does he get the bounce? No, he doesn't. He tried to have another go, but. So here the call, a high tackle on Batty as he came through and took the loose ball that was bouncing around. He was collected high. Clark just puts his hand up and go, yep, I acknowledge the fact. <laughs> no fear for Batty though. He attacks the footy at every opportunity. Clark. John Stone finds Dean. Ashcroft. Here, yeah, look for Chapel, finds him. Batty. Buttrose. The far side, the hillside of this Scully Park, Creamer. Creamer looking to spin, he does. Farkas gets the pass off him, gets through one, two. They wrap him up. Fall it was. Ashcroft. Ashcroft puts the kick through for Batty. Batty will dive through and score what could be the match winner for the Eastern Suburbs Wombats as Ashcroft took the ball to the line. He knew he had Batty outside. He put the kick through and he got the beautiful bounce. And that's punched the score out to 16 points to six on the Bryden's Lawyer scoreboard with a conversion to come. So Tom Murray looking to um, grab his first conversion attempt for the day. Pushes it across the face. And still, there's a slight door ajar for the Giants. Can they force their way through it? Five minutes left. The Bankstown Giants in only their second grand final. 
Last one was 2001. The Wombats have been very good all week. They lead 16-6. Johns gets boot to ball. Farkas waits for it. Finds Creamer. Creamer rolls up. Burrows his way through. Ashcroft plays it. Chapel. John Stone. One's Dean. Ten from halfway. Batty doesn't muck around. Once again, looks for a corner. Finds it and squirts it into touch. And the Giants they'll have to go 75 Fermi on in Jersey 14 he'll get a dummy half of the Giants fall fall bounced out of one but they came again some good work there in defence Watkin Raper, Raper, dummy inside, outside, goes himself, still going, Raper. Fermi, back for Watkin, making some good metres. The Giants, Raper, long pass for Johns, Johns, bounce. Bounce butt rose out of the way. Fermi for Raper. Raper will put it high in the air. Batty awaits. Batty goes high. Taken out of his hands. Raper puts the kick through. Yeah, Raper put the kick through. Went dead. So we get a restart. 20 restart for the Wombats. Ma back on the field. Clark. John Stone. Ashcroft. Can he spin around and get rid of it? No, he takes the tackle as they drive into the ground. John Stone looks up again, finds Batty. Batty, once again, just shooting for the corner. Back goes Rivette. Rivette, oh, he had Gosling there. Is he going to say he's knocked it on? It bounced off Batty's hands as well, but Gosling had knocked it on. So that'll give the Wombats the scrum feed. Ten out. With 90 seconds left. In this Combank... Men's grand final after the women's earlier was won by the Bankstown Giants. Both sides, or both clubs, having two sides in the grand final. For Milo feeds it for Buttrose. Buttrose tries to charge through. The Giants. Losing three important players before kick up. Well, two didn't. Couchy. And Schroeder. And then losing McIntyre in the warm up. Take nothing away from the Wombats. They have been most consistent side all week. And they'll now seal the deal. John Stone as Ashcroft takes a while to get to his feet. Vaux, Anthony Vaux, John Stone again, he had Clark short, Batty, Batty, they get up on him quick, Clark drives him to the ground, he'll get up, 11 out, John Stone again, which way will he go, he's got Ashcroft to the right, that's where he goes, he picks him up, Ashcroft puts the kick high, up they go, Gosling did a good job, diffuses the situation, will come back to the 20,
But he'll just do a quick F pass. He taps and goes, and that will be the full time siren. And the Eastern Suburbs Wombats are the Premiers champions of the Police Bank Cup for 2023. Dylan Wagner, two tries in the first half. Matt Johnstone and then Max Batty. And tries to Joel Raper for the Bankstown Giants. And that's the full-time score, 16 points to six. With 26 games throughout the week, we hope you'd enjoy it. We're going to go down to the presentation ceremony. Wonderful to be part of the week that has been. The New South Wales Police Rugby League's Police Bank Cup for 2023.
but more importantly, just our board uh, and our club in general. Uh, Chuk, Telf, uh, Katie Macca, everyone that's involved in our club, uh, they work tirelessly to get us here. Uh, they live and breathe it, and thank you very much, boys. I, I really just proud. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to call the boys Stuart Ford from the Police Bank. We're playing for the Police Bank Cup. Can you say a few words and present, present the trophy to the winners? Commiserations to the Dax Town. You guys put in a pretty solid fight, but you probably came up against a better team today. Congratulations to uh, the Wombats. Uh, one better than last year. And uh, you've got your name on this thing plenty of time, so good luck for the next year. Thank you, Paul. I'm very to get through and get the trophies. Please come through and be awarded the trophy in the Boys Bank Cup. Is the uh, player of the final, so over the last 
two days. I watched the um, semi final games and then the grand final. Now, this trophy is just to be on its last legs. It's got tape holding it together and it's very wonky. So, it fits. Be very careful, really. The balls, some of the balls out of last year, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, but the winner this year, over the two days of um, what we've watched with the semi finals, is Jackson Clark from Eastern Suburbs. <laughs>
um, to tell you know, to all the management staff you know, five years ago when you were getting 30 quid in and then you're putting 30 on the club. So it's amazing you have you know you have the time now for the next couple of years which I'm sure you're gonna be you know we're seeing a lot more red ones. So appreciate you boys. Thanks for that. And so I've already um, just got back to what you said ahead of last year with my two, you know, we said all week with redemption. It was the first half last uh, yesterday we put the calf back on that bus and then the other half was today, so I'm really proud of you and I couldn't tell you about a bunch of boys, so I appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be in the two coaches. Now I'm going to sign the draw from uh, Ed's down the first. Uh, I've been around police footy for a long time, he's a great one of our great players, he's coached for many years and a big part of Ed's down to save the world. Um, yeah, thanks, Sharon. Just obviously like to thank the committee and everyone that goes to putting this week on. I know mean, there's a lot of work behind the scenes, so it's been a great carnival. Uh, to East, you know, once again, you set the standard. You play, um, you play hard off field and also on field. Um, you're quality blokes, um, great, great clean game of footy, and um, yeah, it's a pleasure to play a great final against you. Congratulations on your win. I know how much it meant after last year's loss, so yeah, congratulations. Uh, to my folks, I couldn't be prouder, prouder of you. As I said over there, you know, that last defensive set pretty much summed us up. You, know, you just never gave up to the end. You held them on that's out that last, last minute. And that summed our season up. We, we've never given up. And um, yeah, we keep building for next year. But yeah, you've done yourselves proud. You've done yourselves. Get the club proud. And um, thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the Bankstown girls on their grand final. Uh, we definitely to go back to back. Our girls, we are super proud of you girls. From how you've developed from last year to now, we're only going to get better and um, you, make our, you make our club so much better than what it already is. Um, so thank you girls for being here. Uh, thanks now guys, everyone said it, mate, you guys have got a great group here, I think if you keep building on what you've got, you've got great sponsors, great management, great players, keep building and this will only get better and uh, this will be you very soon I think, without a doubt, so thank you guys, play hard and tough and um, I'm just so glad I don't play for you anymore. Um, before I go to uh, my boys, I just wanted to make special mention to my brother Marty who's over in England. Without Marty, none of this for us would be um, on an England. Without his drive, we wouldn't be the club we are today. So, Marty, if you listen to England, mate, thanks very much, buddy. <laughs> um, my boys, uh, outstanding bunch of guys. I know this Pontic group will never be the same. Uh, we said that, and you, we, we asked. Spoke about opportunity, had it, missed opportunities. Go to you guys definitely did that today. It was a hard physical game. You did everything I've ever asked of you, and I, mate, I couldn't thank you enough. So thank you, boys. Um, again, so I've got to thank our sponsors. Uh, we two here today. Amazing Terry Hayley, Megan Hayley here. Outstanding with every support. Uh, and well done as well. Without these two guys, our club is not possible without the doubt. They are phenomenal to us, and they are part of the family forever. Um, so guys, enjoy the night and please stay safe in his home, stay safe, and we'll see you again next year. Thank you. Um, we'll go to Maxi Daddy first.